critical appraisal of an observational study. And we will talk about harm studies, the cohort study and the case control study. These are the harm studies, right? So we will talk about them, the case control study and a cohort study. Now, you already know that to check the quality, the most commonly used scale is Newcastle Ottawa scale. Newcastle Ottawa scale. That is very difficult for many of you, especially a beginner. It's very difficult to understand the terminologies, right? So let's make things easier. For the critical appraisal of a case control and the critical appraisal of cohort studies, I have divided both of them into eight questions each. So if you follow these questions, you don't need the Newcastle Ottawa scale anymore. You will not need Newcastle Ottawa scale anymore. If you follow these eight questions, things will become easier for you. So now look at the questions. So this is the critical, uh, critical appraisal, the observational study critical appraisal. So if it's a cohort study, these are the eight questions. So what are the eight questions for the cohort studies? Number one is, was the exposure and the outcome of interest clearly explained? Did the authors explain what the exposure is and what is the outcome of interest they are studying? Point number two is, did they mention that they were exposed people? Did they clearly mention the exposed people that in that particular locality, particular location, they are having exposed people? Did they mention that there were some uh, non-exposed people as well for the comparison? Did they mention that? Now, the outcome of interest was not present at the start of the study. That will be a big bias. That will be a big mistake if, if that, interest, if that uh, outcome of interest is present in the beginning. If you are checking, will smoking lead to cancer and the patients already have cancer, then the study is, uh, is void. It's, it's not a good study, of course, right? So make sure that the outcome of interest is not available or was not present in the population before the exposure, I mean, before the study began. The exposure is already there, right? So these four questions, were: was the exposure and the outcome of interest clearly explained? The exposed people were mentioned clearly by the authors. They also mentioned the non-exposed population. They mentioned the outcome of interest, that it was not present at the start of the study. Were the people similar other than the exposure? Were there other similarities like the location, the culture, the age, the gender? Were those similarities there or were there a lot of differences? If there are a lot of differences, then you cannot actually compare them. That will be a bias again. So that's why we make sure that we have majority of these answers as yeses. In fact, more, all of the, the, them are yeses for a good cohort study, uh, for, go, for a good cohort study. So now number six, were the exposure and the outcome, outcomes measured the same way in both groups? The answer is yes or no. Was the follow-up done correctly, long enough and sufficient enough? Probably five years, yes or no. Was this study published in an index journal like PubMed? eight questions possibly now you can actually go and check on any study and you will be able to answer these yeses if eight are yeses or seven are yeses it's a good study i would say even if it's five five yeses it's a good study but an excellent study would be with all the yeses now let's talk about the cohort study uh, the case control study sorry now let's talk about the case control study so how do you assess the quality of a case control study now again the eight questions now were the cases defined properly did the, did the authors define what the cases were? The controls, did they define what the controls were? The exposure and outcome, were they defined clearly? Exposure, is it smoking? And the outcome is lung cancer. Is it? Did they define it? Did they explain that clearly? Were there similarities between the groups? What if they are not comparable at all? Just like the previous study, right? Did the cases and controls have a similar chance of being exposed to the exposure of interest. Yes or no? W were the exposure and the outcomes measured the same way in both groups? Or there were differences? Yes would be a good, good study. There should be a yes. 
was the follow up done correctly long enough and sufficient enough exactly the same question was the study published in a pubmed index journal or a good index journal like web of science or pubmed central medline so these are the eight questions for case control studies and these are the same eight uh, eight questions for cohort studies. So if the answer to all eight are yeses, it's an outstanding study. If it's seven, then it's a good, excellent study. If six, I would say very good study. So that's how you assess the quality of the harm studies, observational studies, the harm studies, cohort studies, and the case control studies. So make sure that whenever you are checking the quality of a cohort study or a case control study you have these eight questions in front of you and you do the quality check you will not need any checklist anymore because many of you had difficulty as checking the quality through the quality assessment checklist so now enjoy this process of quality check by these eight questions each with K, uh, each uh, eight questions for the cohort studies and eight questions for the case control study now enjoy and make sure majority are yeses even if it's five yeses i would say it's fine but try to go for more okay thank you have a good day